John Barnes once faced backlash for claiming that the average person doesn't understand the ramifications of Brexit during an appearance on BBC Question Time. Liverpool legend John Barnes is one of the finest footballers to have played for England in the last 50 years. The Jamaica-born winger enjoyed a stellar career, scoring 108 goals for the Anfield side in more than 400 appearances, as well as 79 caps for his country. Away from the pitch. Barnes' rap in New Order's World in Motion topped the charts and has become an iconic part of English football culture in its own right. He has also become a regular on our TV screens too, starring in Strictly Come Dancing, Celebrity Big Brother and he appeared last night on Michael McIntyre's The Wheel. But viewers haven't always agreed with Barnes' views. During an appearance on BBC Question Time in February 2019, He accused the average person of not understanding the ramifications of leaving the European Union. Brexit backing journalist Ella Whelan argued Barnes' comments were dangerous because you're essentially saying the average voter is thick. Barnes, who admitted prior to the Brexit referendum that he would be voting to remain within the bloc, sought to clarify his comments. He said, when I say the average person doesn't understand. You think that the average person, out of the 56 million, understands the ramifications of leaving Europe from a financial and economics point of view? He added, you think not understanding the ramifications from an economic point of view means that you're thick? Ms. Whelan said Brexit and its impact had been discussed, ad nauseum. She told the show's panel, I think Brexit is the best thing that has happened to British politics because it has thrown up so many questions. The idea that the average voter doesn't understand it is where the kind of elitist anti-democratic politics the new party group comes from. Twitter user Gary Ace defended Barnes' comments. He said at the time, John Barnes was right, the average voter does not understand as much about the ramifications of Brexit as the experts warning against it. I don't know why that was so shocking to say. For example, the average person has teeth but it doesn't mean they are dentists.